Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we created our form. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can send requests to the API, and we will learn about API resources and in Laravel. So let's start how we are going to do it. If I come to the user component here, you know we have all the our form components here, like input, all of those stuff. But you do not have any starting form that should say the form start from here and the form should end somewhere so i will start here you know this is the model body so i will start the form here for now let me just remove this one and we will end it all the way down so if i click there this is selected you come down this is going to where it is going to end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to include the footer the model footer uh, too because we have our create submit button here when if someone click on this one it should submit our form so our form will end here so this is fine for this one and if i come up now we have to write the action here where it is going to send so you know if you check out the bootstrap uh, we uh, the we form in the bootstrap version 4 they say that it should be something like this they are going to use the let's say the the login so the form is start here if someone submitted prevent the default or the click it should not refresh the page this prevent means it should not refresh the page and then it will call the login function and this is how it is going to work and then the login function will just send a request so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the same thing here we do need to write the action we are going to do that in the javascript uh, part so i will just say at submit and call a function let's say create user that's it and then uh, here i will just write some uh, prevent so it should prevent the default click event it should not refresh the page or reload the page it just it just call this function and this function all the way down you can write it so if i come here you have the muted it in the mounted here and you have the methods you can write them here so for this one we can write create user that's it you can create the user and it should send an HTTP request to the server and it should create now when you are sending an HTTP request of course this is going to post something to the HTTP server so how it is going to do it I hope this is the correct name nope it should be create user yes we have the create user so if i come here you know the we form it has a, a lot of helper function we can use some of them so if i come here one of them is this one this says if someone click on the login just submit a form with the request how it is going to do is this is going to say this dot form dot post means this is our form this refer to the data or the whole component form refer to this uh, form object and post is going to post our application uh, our data to this url you, you just pass the url and then it, it will post it so what i'm going to use is i'm going to use the same thing for now we are not going to post the data but the thing is i should teach you how you can send data to the api uh, uh, controller so this is how it is going to work you post something for the user you should have an api for this one let's say we have an api then you have a user the reason is because we want we, we will secure the api let's say for example um, people should not be able to send requests to the user api only those who are logging those who are using our application they should be able to do that's why we should put them in a api directory so here is how it is going to work for now it is just fine i will save it and what i'm going to do is we'll we will go to the route here we have four files channel console we don't need to use them previously we used to use web now we we have to use the api api will put the api middleware as you know middleware is, is just like a wall around your application so it will put the auth middleware for all the requests you have so you can put everything here for now if you put it here you have to be authenticated to have to access that's why we are going to use Laravel passport for this one. Of course, there are so many things you have to know. I will teach them step by step, but for now, we just write it down here so that we can send requests to the server and then 
we can save it to the database so first of all let's create a controller for this one for the user if I come here HTTP controller we don't have any controller for the user so let's create it if I come to the Laravel website for this one we are going to use the API so what you can do is you can use the PHP artisan make controller and pass the flag of API at the end and it will create an API controller when you create an API controller you do not need some of the functions some of the functions which, which is not necessary so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the same structure so let's open the console here and I will use PHP artisan make controller now we will write API it will create an API directory for us I think the slash yeah it should be like this slash then you just specify the controller you, you can say user controller and then API so let's enter and see what is going to create for us for now we don't have any API URL and uh, API directory here but it should create an API directory for us yes successfully done and if I open this one you have a user controller if I open this one let's see what is inside this you have index you have a store you have show you have update and you have destroy you don't have the edit and some of other stuff so that is something cool about this one and plus you have them in the API directory now what you are going to do is if you are going to reference it here so what you can do is you can use the route the resource API so let's come down um, and let me show you how the resource one is going to work yeah you can use the route API resource and then you can give it a name this is much easy you used to say let me open the web no we don't have anything here but we used to have use the the resource controller now you can do is you can just put the API resource and it will create an API resource for you so I will come here and say we have route API resource I hope I am doing the spelling correctly so I will use it and then you can say this is going to be for the user and what it is going to do is you can just reference the name of the controller you have for them so we will write it down here we get we say you go to the API directory and we have a user controller now let's check out all our routes so I will just mm, write here PHP artisan route list to list all our route and let's see if it can prefix uh, the route for us so oops we missed something I think PHP nope so we have a error in the line something here so if I come here let me close this one where is our error web if I save it I don't think if you have any error now we saved it mm, again run the command no again we have a error here so what is the error route resources must pass one argument so if I come here you have the user so let's check out the documentation okay if I check the documentation they passed an array so for us if I come here and run the command again it is going to give us the the array the, the error that the type should be array I think this is new in level 5.7 so you should pass an array for this one for the API resources because in my other applications I used to use like directly you can just write them like a regular resources so what I'm going to do is just close the console and instead of this one we will just write an array so we will pass the array and I will write the user it should be user and the value should go to API slash user controller if I save it this time if I come here and route the yeah these are the list of the routes so if I come here we must have some API for our application so let's see if we have them for the user no we don't have yeah here is the the route it is going to be API user which is going to be for the index one API for the post 
that is what we are going to do and it will call the store function so this is how you can store all your API uh, controllers in Laravel so what else we need is if I come here yeah this is going to send us to the correct uh, URL and then in the next video we will start just sending data to the URL and we can store them in the database so I hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching